What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hopefully you're all staying healthy and having a great day. All right, so in this video, as you can see, I have four GPUs unplugged right here on this motherboard. They're all hanging right here. And I also have this rig off. When I was here yesterday, messing with the 3060s and the 3070 twin edges, removing all of the uh, stickers that are right here, I actually ended up noticing that my 6600 XT shut off. Fell off the rig, don't know why, basically just a red square in Hive OS, literally no idea why. So I shut it off, I turned it back on, and the thing came back. Awesome, all well and good. I go home after recording that video, I get these all back set up, one of these 3060s fall off. No idea why. And then following that, the 6600 again falls off. So, it could be a couple things, I guess. Obviously, riser, the USB from the riser. It could just be the card itself is crap. Um, I know, same thing with this one. I, I honestly have no idea. But either way, I need to fix this rig and this rig. So the plan here is, as you can see, those cards, again, disconnected. Because we are going to downgrade the driver, which it's in the process of doing right now to get a better hash rate on these version one 3060s. The older drivers work better. The only reason I have to downgrade is because I upgraded this rig for these LHR cards. The LHR does not work with the lower driver inside Hive OS. It literally doesn't register them, like they just don't exist. So I was forced to basically upgrade this rig. So now, what I'm going to do is take the AMD cards from up here, the 36600s, I believe. Yes, I have three of them. They are gonna be removed. They're gonna be brought down here because I have four more coming in. And what I plan to do is to basically put three of those cards that are currently up here on the RevTech down onto this splitter. And I'm gonna to try to put another four into an additional splitter right here. So this will also be a 13 card GPU rig Man, I have a lot to do today. So what I'm gonna do right now, basically I wanna let this thing uh, finish running through. It's upgrade, I think it's actually almost done right now. Yep, it's rebooting. All right, so once I confirm that this thing is fully done and it's rebooted, showing all of the GPUs, as you can see, or maybe you can't, there is six GPUs registering, so that's a good sign. Um, now I can actually start disassembling this. So give me one second. Let me pull down all three of these uh, AMD 6600 XTs. I have that Gigabyte one. I have a ASRock one that's right there and a Sapphire Pulse next to that. I know it's kind of hard to see, but let me get those down. Let me throw them right here on the table. Then we're gonna start disassembling this rig right here. And basically I'll put these cards up there first because obviously I wanna get this uh, rig up top fired back up as soon as possible. So give me two seconds, let me do that. You guys will see it all done. All right, so as you guys can see, we have the wife's cards up and running, a little hard to focus on them there in the back. And we only have these six cards running right now. This Aorus is just not plugged in or not turned on rather. We just wanted to make sure that the actual rig took the older driver and it is hashing away all six of those 3060s. The CCXD7, I need to clear this, there's a lot of commands, but we have, as you can see, everything is hashing away on number seven as well, which is that RevTech board. So we are, uh, we're in good shape. So now I guess all I have to do is get these 6600 XTs installed back in this uh, rig right here. Hopefully they all hash and they stop falling off. But before I actually hook those up, I am going to install some new risers because I actually noticed the one that kept falling off, which is the Sapphire Pulse. This is an older riser that I got from, uh, I think Alibaba or Amazon, I forget but that's coming off. And then this is also a knockoff non GPU riser. So I am going to take that off, take that off, replace it with two new ones, and then we'll hang these cards. So 
give me just a second and uh, yeah, we'll get this done. All right, so I actually replaced all of the risers, even though I had a GPU risers riser on here. I just swapped it over an eight capacitor instead of the six. So they all have eight capacitor risers on them now. Now I just gotta get them hung up there. So let's do that. I'm gonna stick this one basically right here. Grab this one. Over here. And then this guy. I'll go right here. All right, there we go. As you can see, they're all hanging. Now I just gotta plug them in. I gotta stop the miner and shut this rig off. So let's uh, actually do that right now. And then we will hook everything up and turn it on. So give me one second, let me do this and we'll go from there. Uh, and now this one's falling off. Oh boy. Real quick, I was just going to stop the miner. This GPU, number four, which is this one right here. This was GPU number five in this slot. I swapped them to see if number four would fall off and it did. So I think we're in trouble. I think something's wrong with that card. That really sucks. It's either that or I have to maybe just clock them down a tiny bit. So I'm gonna try to do that. We're gonna plug everything in and hopefully it all gets up and running, but I'll stay here to make sure we're all good before I take off. So give me one second. Let me turn this miner back on. All right, fellas. So looking at the risers, this one, which happens to be my Sapphire Pulse that I literally just changed the riser on. And that's the one that was giving me issues up here. The blue light's not on. So this is either a dead card, the connections aren't working inside the riser or it's a faulty riser, which I am assuming it's not a faulty riser because that same card was giving me issues like I just set up there. So uh, I don't know what to do. I guess I'm gonna swap the riser and I'm just gonna hope for the best. This is my first official defective GPU riser. So I don't know how or why, but there is a burn mark as you can see right there. If I open the back side of this thing, there's literally nothing. I think it's just a failed capacitor of some sort. So unfortunately this eight GPU riser is not good. You know what? Everything can't be perfect, so is what it is. I swapped it out, and look at that, blue light's on. She's registering in Hive OS. Now I just have to set the clocks, and we'll go from there. All right, so everything is up and hashing. Super excited. More excited that all my fans are spinning on the 3060s. I'm hoping I fixed those for the most part. Uh, the only one that actually doesn't look healthy is really this one because it's got a little wobble to it. Looks like one of them teaspoon mining rigs. But uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess we'll have to see what happens. But as always, guys, I appreciate you all for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe on the way out. Please stay safe, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.